Yeah, I'm still doing this in the basement because for one thing it's about like 10, 20, 30 below outside Fahrenheit and uh, anyways the outside of the box is a little bit beat up but the inside is very well packed there's a whole bunch of peanuts and, and baggies and all that good stuff I just decided to take it all out of there because quite frankly it's just getting to be entirely too much of a mess so here's what was in here four pages of instructions not really instructions just more like diagrams uh, the parallel port diagrams couple of jumper wires yeah diagram of the power connector diagram of uh, what I see outside on at night see all the white covered with white stepper motor specs This, this thing isn't for the noob. There's a couple of guys I've seen on online that have, ain't got a clue. And, well, they get what they paid for. I don't know. Got some cables here. Run from the, uh, I'll break it out here in a sec. Run from the, the controller to each stepper motor. They look pretty decent. Parallel cable comes with it. Got a mounting extension plate for the mill motor. Runs on the Z axis up and down. Solid chunk of aluminum with mounting screws. Controller. Should have been bagged up in some sort of anti stat, but it wasn't. Got some jumpers. Yeah, more jumpers. Parallel connector. Output connectors with a fan, big old heat sink, got a heat heat sink compound on it. Except for the fact that I'm not grounded. Looks like it's pretty well built. What's that? Can't tell what that is. A Texas Instruments chip of some sort. A couple of surface mount chips. Looks like a breakout header of some sort. Yeah, looks pretty good. Power supply. Uh, what's this? 24 volt, 5 amp output for driving the stepper motors. Get out of the way, cat. Hey! <laughs> Jesus. Get over there. What? <laughs> she can edit you out of the house. Mounting bracket for the mill motor with hardware. Get! Stupid. Chuck for the bit with the mill motor. Box that, box that the mill motor came in. The only problem I found was, got some of that styrofoam in my mouth. The box was sitting like this, and the mill motor punched through the bottom. Oh well. Mill motor itself. Yeah. 25,000 RPM. Seems pretty tight. 210 watt, 25,000 RPM. Hmm. 110 volt. Yeah, you kidding? Ah. Replace the brushes. Oh, that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know if that's a bead or what. Uh, on and off switch. Not variable speed. Why'd well, you want it to be anyway? Let's hook up to 220 and see if we can spin it fast. Alright, here's the meat of the machine.
the actual unit itself. At your Z, you got your Y and your X. I think you can see the lead screw there pretty good. Yeah, that turns. This is the axis. Mill motor or the extension plate bolts up to that, and the mill motor bolts up to the extension plate. Really, no assembly required here. Maybe I'll go through and you know just make sure all the nuts and bolts and Allen head screws, all Allen head screws. Here's from underneath. Yeah, looks like he's got some pretty good grease on it. There's the slides, linear bearings on the X. Linear bearings on the Y. And linear bearings on the Z. Hmm. There's no detectable up and down play in this on the Z. None on the Y that I can feel. Nothing on the X. I'm sure it's measurable, but not by anything I've got. That's a solid chunk of aluminum all the way around. Yep. Hmm. X axis stepper motor. Same thing as slides back here. Yep. That's a pretty stout. Wish I had a scale. I'd guess, say 10, 15, yeah, 15 pounds ish. <clears throat> I think I'm, gonna, I'm about to rot that cat. But that's about it for now. And uh, next step, I guess, would be to mount it somewhere and and uh, hook up all the electronics and uh, see if I can get a computer to run it or not. First, I gotta find a computer. That's it.